hi everybody this is Daisy Shaver and I pulled together a little slideshow with the help of Feel Free, Pogo, Egg, Doxy, Whip, and Gothy. I wanted to put together a group of slides just to give you an end of the year shout out and well you know beg for cash but really just to share the love you'll see The workings of destiny happen, you know, year round. So even when the sanctuary is covered in snow, the fairies are having conference calls and meetings and circles, getting together, planning next year's gathering season and the projects and, you know, all the balls that have to be juggled to do the work of, you know, developing the sanctuary. The planets are subcommittees that work throughout the year to manage the space, the finances, the future plans. Three large gatherings were thrown this summer and a number of small gatherettes. Fairies visited the sanctuary from all over the world. Each summer, for a decade at least, fairies have lived full-time in destiny during the gathering season. Residents agree to maintain and keep the space, participate in gathering planning, facilitation, keep the gardens, mow the lawn, cut fallen trees, manage the campgrounds, order food, fuel services, manage and participate in the development of the gathering site, blah, 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 blah. These people, I'm so thankful, they help to make destiny gorgeous, regenerative, and loving. And it's a real honor to live with this group of people. This summer we sat in circle every week and had heart circle and a uh, business meeting every week, a family meeting. Four fairies were provided emergency housing this summer. And we talked a lot about what it's like to live together and what needs we have to live in community in such a high context culture with such fiscal limitations. Destiny fairies have concerned themselves with the forest that is the sanctuary. On 166 acres of regrowth forest, the circle has built slowly and deliberately using professional forestry and wildlife consultants and lots of heart and head circles. The mountainside former farm is covered with crowded forest competing for space and light, which raises the risk for disease and death. So the circle has maintained practices that enhance and protect the forest while uh, through selective cutting and, and each uh, season. Some destiny fairies wield a chainsaw to do the logging work. Trees are cut with forethought and consideration and soon our development projects are going to require that we cut out sections uh, of trees for building sites and the land use queens ask for your please to be kind to those who do the forestry stewardship. This summer cutting projects prepared to install the solar electric system and a ditch was dug, a trench was dug, and the panels have been installed in noisy bottoms. The, the straw bell walls were repaired and uh, the inverter and the batteries are in the utility room. The system runs the well pump and replaces the, the gasoline power generator. There's lights, oh my God, just to have lights. There's a refrigerator. The residents are learning how to use the system and adjusting practices so we use less propane. We need to get a backup propane generator and the solar system was built uh, through the generous individual donations of you all, the support of the Samara Fund of the Vermont Community Foundation and the Sisters and uh, the One Society. Thank you so much. Stewardship of the planet uh, is a part of destiny and fairy culture at large, I think. 
uh, at Destiny prior to development, uh, Ferry did a survey of all the flora and fauna of the property. It's called the Destiny Geographic. The circle devised the responsibilities of the land document, which is an outline to guide development decisions related to nature. Destiny practices methods to improve food and habitat for birds and bees and wildlife, as well as protect water and uh, for soil regeneration. Omri and Multiform wrote and directed the Lamas play this year. The Destiny Fairies have produced week-long theater gatherings over 15 times, I think, and each year fairies come from all over and spend the week learning the script, building sets, writing music, developing costumes and doing all the crazy amounts of work it takes to maintain a week-long gathering. Paradise Lost in Space included video projections, electric lights, dance numbers, a house band, all in the Hecate Circle. It was amazing. 65 fairies stayed throughout the week, uh, which was a big first, and it featured uh, the first solar electric powered kink dance party, Pigs in Space. During the gathering uh, in the Maypole Circle, an art installation was begun that uh, honored uh, the Black Lives Trans Matters movements. The gardens at Destiny continue to develop and they're, they're a big part of the work of the residents. Land use continues to improve and expand noisy bottoms, clearing brambles and brush saplings. Uh, rebuilt the compost bin, we've got berry bushes, uh, there's a new orchard. It's very exciting and the vegetable gardens continue to continue to expand and all this bounty that happens from the gardens come to our table and we can feed each other with that it's it's really such a joy and our vibrant gardens are especially important as we grow as so we can teach fairies about nutrition permaculture gardening food preparation As fall rolls around each year, the fairies start to pack up and begin to leave. We've had a tent cabin which has a has a stove in it that provides, you know, a little bit of heat. There's sacred trash fires. It's the mission of Destiny to provide year-round residency to a few fairies. So circles have been happening to shepherd this process to have the place be open year-round. Circles are happening to look at financing to start the construction of a timber frame and straw bell dining hall, hopefully next summer, which expands the season for gatherings as well as provides a versatile heated dining, meeting, and pantry space. At the end of the season this year, fairies sent out wishes. Fall foliage was smaller this year because the weather was kind of cold and wet. But other than the foliage, a big feature of this gathering is going to the Dummerston Pie Festival, Apple Pie Festival. And it happens at the Grange Hall. It's a fundraiser for the church and community. The fairies have been going since 1997. We're kind of a, you know, 
we're part of the Pi Festival. They asked that we get our picture taken on the steps of the church. Deer season's rolling around, the gate's closed. Oh, I built a chicken coop. The hard frosts have been coming, it's snowing again. I miss y'all. It's sad when y'all go. Please give to Fairy Camp Destiny. Blessed be.